For more tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. Also, ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime I have new videos. Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. I'm Paul Ricaldi. In just a second, I'm going to tell you why you should never throw away another jigsaw blade. First, you want to make sure there's no power going to your saw. Now, you can take a pencil, a carpenter pencil. You set it this way, you have a half inch length. If you set it this way, you have three eighths. So we can mark this at three eighths right there. And if we have a half inch piece of drywall, we'll mark it here. And of course, if we have three quarters of an inch, we'll use a piece of wood. I'm going to meet my buddy, the American Builder, and we're going to cut some drywall. Up the street, we have some demo to do. Before we cut the drywall off, Paul comes up with a safety tip about cutting drywall. Of course, Paul's toolbox. He's thought of something ingenious, and we ran down here to the shop to customize a blade. We're going to snap the blade off really quick, but is it five eighths, is it half inch? Depends on what your drywall is. For this one is half inch. We use our carpenter pencil, which is exactly a half inch. We mark it, snap the blade off, let's go cut some drywall. You take your marker, and that's your half inch mark. We're gonna pull this out, we're gonna put it in the vise, clamp it down. Get my pencil back. Yes, sir. And then you're just gonna snap it off? We're gonna it? snap it off right there. Look how close these wires are. Even a razor blade can make it back. Absolutely. Was that super fast or what? If you guys found this useful, please hit like. I'll see you on the next project, and don't forget to subscribe.